All right, most important thing here is to start with my little buddy, Lucky. He likes to be out in the garage with me, and so he walks away. <laughs> All right, guess he doesn't like the spotlight. This is my Corvette. We are now getting into the stage where I'm replacing uh, uh, the lights, etc. Uh, the wheel arch surround is obviously off, and my next stage is to take the bumper off, rear bumper, and get everything together. Let me try and. Oh, sorry, I'm going to move my fat ass here. There. Okay, looks a little uh, dusty, but that's okay. Everything is here in place, and it's all going to come out. <gasps> Why is it coming out? Well, I've got to put the rear spoiler on. Sorry, I'm suffering with hiccups. Oh. As my wife says, hold your breath for 12 minutes. She's such a bitch. <laughs> Love her dearly. Uh, now, what we're looking at here, this is the um, drain from the gas cap. So that's got to go up. Uh, the reversing lights are in as good or as bad as they're going to be. Uh, the bulbs are there. But of course, all of this will fall by the wayside as I remove the rear bumper. Now, I took the rear bumper off uh, so the guys could spray without causing any problems. Don't give a damn, didn't want them to fuck it up. Simple as that. So, you know, you in there you got a little bit of overspray. Oh, big fucking deal. Oh, look, that cable coming in there. Oh, it gives a shit. Come on, that doesn't matter. You're never gonna see it. Ever, ever, never, never. So, uh, next, for this particular video, is me removing this bumper. And that will be tomorrow. And look at that, doesn't that look nice? And yes, I had to super glue it into position. It was in position. Alright. My plan... Sorry, I'm trying to land a light here. Hang let's, sorry, I'm, this is not good for you guys, I know. Hang on. Now, holding it in my hand, sorry about that. All right, my plan is to put the outer lenses in, bolt them in position. And then all I gotta do is attach the connections. The inner one I can't do. Could I, could I put them in? No, because they're going to get in the way of me getting to the outer one to put the electrical connection in. So that's, that's my thoughts. I could be wrong, but there you go. So the plan is, as I said, put the outer ones in while the bumper is off the vehicle. Uh, probably also, let's get around here. Put these ones in. I see no reason I can't mount these in here and then do the connections afterwards. The only thing I'm on this side I have to concern myself with is the antenna aerial. Not quite sure about that one yet. I'll figure that out as we go. Then once all that's done and I get the rear bumper back on then I can put the rear wheel arch um, cover in place and we are ready to rock and roll to do the door panels. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a few things to do on this vehicle and you know, it needs a bit of a, a polish down here, but that's no big deal. Oh, that up there, yeah, the, the seal was out of place so I've glued that back in and 
held it in with tape. So, uh, this one is, oh gosh, I don't even know what, uh, I don't think there's really a number on this particular vet one. This is a get ready for sale part two. So let me pump that out so that you guys have got something to view. Uh, you can see here she's looking fucking beautiful. And please, if any of you are in the area of Queen Creek, Arizona, or you want to give me lots of money to buy this, we're probably going to start mm, with the door panels in position and all the other shit I've done and the respray. Mm. They range so vastly. And this one is so special. Let's start at 10k. And then we can work from there. Okay. That's it. This video ends right now. Get out in the garage. Do some shit.